Does white tea and thyme from Simbi smell the same or better than the white tea from Candle Science? Stay tuned because today I am putting fragrance oils in a head-to-head -head battle in Battle of the Fragrance Oils. Hey everybody, it's Carrie. Welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. Today is a really fun video. I was inspired because I'm in a bunch of different groups on Facebook and a lot of folks are always asking, hey, have you smelled this? Is it similar to this oil from this company? So I thought, let's dig in and let's do a real life one-to-one -one comparison to see who stacks up and who doesn't make the cut. I just want to say right off the bat, these are simply my opinions. Uh, your opinion may differ, and that is totally cool. Leave me a comment down below and tell me if you've smelled these, do you agree or do you disagree? <clears throat> because that's what makes these videos fun. We all smell and pick up on different notes in these fragrance oils. So without further ado, let's get into the first head to head. <laughs> we are putting Simbi's White Tea and Time up against Candle Science's White Tea. All right, they have very similar fragrance notes. Now keep in mind, fragrance oil companies, they are not inclined to put every single note on their description pages, so keep that in mind. There could be time in Candle Science's white tea, but it may not be listed. We're gonna start with Simbi. I mean, if you don't love white tea, that's a bummer. <laughs> white tea is so stinking good because it's really fresh, it's very like spring. Um, this gives me total spring wedding vibes. I did white tea as wed a wedding favor for a spring wedding, and it's the perfect fragrance. It's elegant, it's elevated, it's beautiful, it's herbaceous, it's clean. Oh yeah, so I love this. It, it really is a nice white tea. It's so good, a little musky. Uh, I love that it's very herbaceous with thyme. I think I smell coriander in there. Let's compare Candle Science white tea. Okay, so these are very similar, like almost exact. The only difference I think is that the white tea in thyme from Simbi, that thyme is more prominent. Uh, it smells so good. Pound for pound, here's what you're looking at. A 16 ounce bottle of Candle Science white tea <clears throat> is $25.12. The Simbi 16 ounce bottle is $42. You are looking at almost a $17 difference. Um, I don't think it is significant enough that you should go for the Simbi versus Candle Science. However, I understand not all Candle Science fragrances, or I'm learning, that not all Candle Science fragrances perform well in waxes that aren't soy. If you have a coconut blend wax, what I'm learning from my friends and other candle makers is that these oils don't perform as well. It's They get a weak hot throw, which is crazy because I know that Candle Science does test for soy wax candles. So if you have, if you're a soy wax maker, I would say go for the Candle Science. The white tea, it's so good, it's so beautiful. And that is the fragrance that I used with a blend to do for those wedding favors. Um, and then, you know, the Simbi, I mean, if you got if you got cheese to spend, baby, grate it, grate it right onto the plate. It's, they're delicious. I think they're both equally beautiful. It really just comes down to price point for me personally, but I was happy to try the, the Simbi one just because, you know, Fragrance oils. <laughs> All right, in round two, we have Sea Lavender and Musk from Northwood and Cedar Musk and Lavender from Midwest. Let's start with Midwest, Cedar Musk and Lavender first. Mm. Yeah, this is fantastic. It is so good. It's, um, it's definitely like musk for it. It smells like cologne. It smells like, it's very sexy, very masculine leaning. It's so good. Okay. All right, let's try Sea Lavender and Musk from Northwood. Okay. They smell nearly identical. 
I think I like the Northwood one better. It's just a little bit softer. It feels more balanced. Whereas the Midwest is a little more like, it's Cedar Musk. And oh, this is so good. It's just a lot more balanced. All right, let's look at the price point, pound for pound. So an eight fluid ounce bottle of sea lavender musk from Northwood is $15.49. The cedar musk and lavender fragrance oil for eight ounces is $13.99. So you're looking at, it's real nominal, it's a $1.50 difference. My vote is to go for Northwood because I think it smells better, it's more balanced. It's almost like if you're already placing an order at Midwest and you have it or you need it, you want to try it, you might as well throw it on your order. But my pick is the Northwood. All right, round three. We are battling sea salt and orchid from Candle Science and Midwest. All right, this is one of my brand new fragrances that I'm absolutely in love with. It is such a vibe. Let's start with Midwest's Sea Salt uh, and Orchid. It is so freaking good and it's sweet, but like not in a cloying way. It's like, it's just so perfect. Like the, I would say it's like the musk, it's like musky, salty, flowery, flowery and ozonic at the same time. It is, it is so good. Now this is, it's complex because of everything that makes up this fragrance oil, yet it is so beautiful. I freaking love this. Let's move on to Candle Science Sea Salt and Orchid. The fragrance notes are nearly identical. There are a few differences, um, but they're basically the same. Candle Science. <laughs> it's not even a competition, you guys. It's Midwest all the way. Oh my gosh, it's so much more, it has way more depth and complexity. This is like, it's good. It's like a shadow of what Midwest is. All right, all that to say, let's look at the price points. So a 16 ounce bottle of sea salt and orchid from Candle Science retails for $29.27. Oof, I did not know it was that expensive. <laughs> all right, and then the sea salt 16 ounce, um, Sea Salt and Orchid from Midwest retails for $23.49, a lot more palatable. So that is almost a $6 difference. Pound for pound, Midwest all the way, baby. Again though, if you're already shopping on Candle Science, you don't need anything from Midwest, you can totally get it, it's doable. It still smells really good, but if you want like a banger, go for Midwest. Let's shift gears a little bit and go away from the lovely spring spa vibes and let's get into some summery beachy vibes. And for this, we're going to put Industry 88 Fragrance Co's Vanilla Coconut and Sandalwood up against Midwest Fragrance Mahogany Coconut. And both of these fragrances have very similar notes. Um, so let's start with Industry 88 Vanilla Coconut and Sandalwood. I mean, that smells so good. <laughs> if you're a fan of Mahogany Coconut, you may already have these as well and you can play along at home. Yeah, it's so freaking good. It's coconutty, it's musky, it's vanilla-y, but it's not too sweet. It's so, it smells like tropical paradise, honestly. Oh yeah, it is, it is so good. Mm. Yeah, the Sandalwood. Love it. Okay. Reset your nose. I learned this from Dana and Cassie. Smell your elbow pit. Sort of like reset home base. Don't smell coffee beans. It's a myth. It's a myth. You're actually making it worse because you're introducing a very strong scent in the coffee beans. So that can totally mess up your olfactory senses. If you're trying to reset your nose, smelling perfume, candle, whatever, fragrance oils. Reset, reset. All right, let's check out Midwest's Mahogany Coconut. And this is a type, not that that matters. <laughs> you guys, again, this isn't even a competition. They smell exactly the same, except Midwest is deeper, better, stronger, mm, so good. 
And I can tell you, I have put both of these in candles. I also made a shampoo bar with the Midwest. Um, I also made a body lotion with the Midwest one. So I know how they are performing equally in the wax and the Midwest does smell better. They both smell very good because they smell the same, but Midwest, it's the, it's the clear winner. Oh my gosh. It just smells, yeah, it smells, it's very close. So let's go to the numbers, shall we? All right, Midwest. The Mahogany Coconut, a 16 ounce bottle, retails for $23.99. And the Vanilla Coconut and Sandalwood 16 ounce bottle from industry retails for $26.99. So that is a $3 difference. I think that is not insignificant. It's three bucks um, that you're saving per pound. Again, it really comes down to if you're already shopping on one uh, company and not the other, and you are wanting this fragrance, you can simply add it to Kat. Um, industry, I, they still haven't released a ton of fragrances, so you might be limited there if you already have tried the others. Um, I think you'll get um, better value for the Mahogany Coconut. All right, for this next head-to-head -head challenge, it's different, and I'm going to say right out the bat, they're not dupes of each other. It's not like a one-to-one -one, like Sea Salt and Orchid. However, they are very similar. There are a note or two that kind of makes them a little bit different, but they're so similar. I wanted to share this with you because when we're reading fragrance notes on websites, we're trying to figure out, okay, what is this gonna smell like? Just really understand the difference between like a gardenia versus a Lang Lang and how that's gonna skew what it smells like. So hear me out and just bear with me. Walk, walk in this journey with me. All right. We are going to put Candle Science's Golden Hour up against Midwest Rio Radiance. They are very similar in notes. There are some differences. So the difference here is Candle Science has Gardenia and the Midwest has Lang Lang. But those flowers, those fragrances are both kind of creamy, a little sweet little powdery and they're very complementary to coconut. So again, it's not one to one, but just understanding what these notes smell like will help you try to realize the full picture. So let's start with Rio Radiance. Dang, this is so stinking good. Oh my God. Rio Radiance, I have also put this in a shampoo bar. I put it in um, a body oil, a body lotion and I put it in a candle. This is summer in a candle. It's kind of got that like suntan lotion, coconut, salty beach outside all day. I might be a little burned. It is so freaking good. Okay, let's go to Golden Hour from Candle Science. It's <sighs> gonna be so good. All right, hold on. <sighs> okay. They're so similar. Okay, this one, Candle Science is a little more sandy beach and Midwest is a little more suntan lotion beach. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh my God, they're both so good. I've already gone full force into the golden hour. That is my choice, but these aren't the same. I just wanted to point this out. So let's get into the numbers. So a 16 ounce bottle of Golden Hour from Candle Science is $25.12. A 16 ounce bottle of the Rio Radiance is $31.99. You're looking at almost a $7 difference. So if you want to compare yourself, go ahead and get your one ounce, two ounce sample, depending upon which company. But I think you'll see, depending upon the vibe, do you want it to be more sandy? beachy or do you want it to be more like suntan lotion beachy? You can't go wrong with either one. They're both so good. I just went with the golden hour because I freaking, I love it. It spoke to me. It's a great blender. It's also great on its own, but your mileage of course will vary. So which one would you choose? All right, for our next head to head battle, we are going to put Simbi's white cashmere up against Makesies Cashmere and Vanilla. Let's start with Simbi's White Cashmere. 
I love this so much. I actually made a deodorant. It's what I'm wearing. Um, it's the fragrance I wanted to wear for a while in my deodorant. I love it. I also made a perfume of this. If you want to check it out, it's called Cashmere on my website, on my shop. <laughs> this is so beautiful. It's really cozy and comforting. It's sexy because it does. It does feel like, oh, like when you take a shower, you want to put this on and just you just you smell so good. Delicious. Like you're wrapped in cashmere. I love it. All right, let's swap it up. We're gonna do Mixy Cashmere and Vanilla. These smell so similar. I will say this, the Mixy one is a little more, has a little bit more floral and it does have more floral in it. Um, it's definitely leans more like perfumey, sort of upscale vibes. Not that white cashmere isn't upscale. I think all of these are upscale, but this just is a little bit more vibrant in terms of the notes that it has, but it's so good. It still has the cashmere vanilla. Um, oh my gosh, it is so good. Who wins this battle? Honestly, it's like, what are you going for? Do you want it to be a, lean a little bit more perfumey? Also, the price point. You already know where we're going with this. <laughs> All right, a 16 ounce bottle from Macy of cashmere and vanilla is $59.95. A 16 ounce bottle of the white cashmere from Midwest Fragrance is $33. That is a difference of almost $27. It's good. I don't think it's a lot good. <laughs> I love it, but dying. Um, you could almost buy two bottles, two pounds of the white cashmere from Simbi for that price. It's so good. Here's something, they're both so good. If you got the cash and you wanna do that a little bit more of a floral twist, makes these for you. If you want the $33, <laughs> 16 ounce version, white cashmere. And honestly, the white cashmere goes so, it's so good. Um, this one, is it a draw depending upon what you'll spend? It's white cashmere for me. I said it, I said it. All right, y'all, I hope you found this video fun. This was really fun to make and fun to do. Uh, if you have any others that you wanna see a head to head challenge, comment down below and let me know. Also, what are your favorites? If you've smelled these, which ones win in your book? Did I get it right? If you love hanging out, talking about fragrance oils, seeing the notes that I smell and don't smell, definitely stick around and check out all of my fragrance oil videos in this playlist right here. And until the next video, I'll see y'all then.